Welcome back. You're watching Game Changers, a tech service show that brings you up to speed on trending and emerging technologies. Uh, next, we're going to be talking about uh, the uh, a gaming app for kids. And joining us is uh, Mr. Eric Njue, the Chief Creative Officer at Stajabu Digital. Mr. Eric Njue, Karibu sana to our studio. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe you can begin by telling us what is Stajabu Digital and uh, what do you do? Stajabu Digital is a, um, is a limited company that has been registered in Kenya. We specialize in developing electronic products, mm -hmm. which is, um, we have mobile games, mm -hmm. mob native mobile Android applications, mm -hmm. and we also partner with uh, other entities to produce cartoons, to produce educational things for kids. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, and uh, so far, uh, how, how has the market been like and what has been the reception out there coming up with the gaming for kids? Um, the market is still at this time. The digital industry in, in Kenya is still at its infancy. Mm -hmm. It's still growing. The reception has not been bad, although we, mm -hmm. we aim to improve our, our products, our electronics pro products. Mm -hmm. There's still a lot of bias towards um, Kenyan cartoons and Kenyan games because people are so used to the to the games from outside markets. Mm -hmm. But that is partly because of the quality. But mm -hmm. we're aiming to improve our quality of the we improve the reception mm -hmm. and we are able to be at par with other international mm -hmm. games and mm -hmm. cartoon productions. Yeah, worldwide. Yes. Okay, and why did you decide to come up with uh, a gaming or an app for children? Why did you just sit and say, I'm going to do something for the kids? Are you interested in children? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, ever since we formed our company, we wanted it to be based around kids' electronic products. Mm -hmm. um, also, because of the large mobile pen penetration mm -hmm. in Kenya, we know that many kids are using phones. Yeah. A lot of them are mostly on YouTube. They are mm -hmm. playing foreign games. Mm -hmm. So we thought we should be able to provide them with um, local games, with local content that they can relate to. Yeah. And yes, our company is mostly based around products that are kid, uh, child based. Mm -hmm. So that's the direction we chose to move yeah. with our game and with our mm -hmm. cartoon productions. Yeah. Yes. As a youth and coming up with something that is uh, tailor made for children, what challenges have you faced and how have you been able to go about them? Um, we have challenges on both sides of the Android games mm -hmm. and we still have challenges um, on the side of on the side of um, the cartoon production. Yeah. First of all, the biggest challenge in the cartoon production is um, mm -hmm. bias from TV stations towards yeah. uh, local locally produced mm -hmm. um, as compared to as compared to the international to the international cartoons. Yeah. Partly because of um, the disparity in quality. Mm -hmm. Our cartoons still face not the best quality because of budget constraints, yeah. uh, skill constraints. Mm -hmm. But as we move forward, we aim mm -hmm. to invest more yeah. and recruit more people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. th th those are the main challenges. As yeah. for the games, one of our biggest challenges has to, has to be penetrate the market mm -hmm. because we are trying to change people's view on Kenyan games being being superior. Yeah. So there are those challenges, but we are working towards them. Mm -hmm. In 2020, we are, we are having new partnerships. Mm -hmm. Um, where we will improve our games and our productions mm -hmm. in a very big way. Mm -hmm. we in, in a way that we can be able to compete with the international mm -hmm. market. Yeah, yes. and uh, talking about budget constraints, how have you been able to penetrate the market and how are you making some returns as a person? Um, yeah. Our monetization model revolves mm -hmm. around, um, for, the, for, the, for the games, mm -hmm. we monetize through the in-game advertisements. Yeah. That is what we monetize through. Mm -hmm. As for the as for the cartoon, the Watu Iwajanjis, we monetize by um, mm -hmm. selling to TV stations mm -hmm. and and having monetization through through the advertisements and yeah. syndication. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe we can now go to the practical aspect of it. Yes. Uh, this is the homepage. Yes, this is the homepage. Yes. Yeah. Maybe we mm -hmm. can have a look at the Tara Tokambio. Yeah, Tara Tokambio. Yes. That is that is the Gaming, yeah, the yes. game here yeah, for the kids, yeah. Yes, we have a mm -hmm. game for kids called yeah. Tara Tokambio. Yeah, it's available on Google Play Store. Mm -hmm. So you just need to search for Tara Tokambio, mm -hmm. and you'll find the game. The game is a is a runner game. Mm -hmm. is is a three D game. Mm -hmm. um, we are, we continue improving it. We re we released it three months ago. Yeah. Um, and we have the initial game with the initial mm -hmm. characters. Yeah. Um, but we have been listening to to the players of the game. Mm -hmm. We engage our we engage our we engage our 
our fans mm-hmm. every single time. Yeah. They tell us what they want to see in the game. Mm-hmm. So after we released it, we are now planning for another update in January mm-hmm. where we will have different gameplay. We'll improve mm-hmm. it immensely, yeah. listening to what the fans requested. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, so maybe we can have a look at how it works. Yes, these mm-hmm. are like the screenshots of the game. Yeah. This is the gameplay screenshot, mm-hmm. which you are the character that is continuously running yeah. and being chased by the teleporting soldiers. Yeah. Um, then, yes, that is basically the gameplay. Mm-hmm. of the. Uh, then we're introducing new characters mm-hmm. um, because initially we started with these two characters who, who are not related, but they didn't have um, the facial features and all that. Mm-hmm. So people requested they wanted to see more relatable characters, yeah. better characters. Mm-hmm. So for the update that's coming out in January 2020, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we'll be having an entirely new game. Mm-hmm. We'll be having entirely new gameplay mm-hmm. and we'll be partnering with several other people to make the experience much better. Okay. Yes. okay. Maybe you can have so a look at that. So these are the two new characters yeah. coming in the game. Do you have, have particular have names for them? Yes, this is uh-huh. called Yet. Jaladi. Jaladi. Yes. <laughs> so these are the two new characters. Are two new mm-hmm. Relatable characters and yeah. characters that people are speaking about to playing as. Mm. Yes. Okay. So as we proceed, we have already uh, proceed. As we proceed, we have already yeah. changed, we have also changed the game world. Mm-hmm. Um, at first, um, guys said the 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 world was just too basic, didn't have various things. Mm-hmm. The character could not interact with the world. Yeah. So we have done this. Uh, gaming world. Mm-hmm. So this is just a thing for what we to expect um, as, mm-hmm. we, as we go into, as we yeah. continue with development. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yes. How, how long did it take you to come up with it? Um, the actual development of the game itself has taken at least um, three months. The first, the first game, the one that's, or mm-hmm. that's, on, that's on Google Play Store. Mm-hmm. The second update will take us much longer mm-hmm. because we have to change so much. Mm-hmm. We are working with uh, we have a new team, so it will mm-hmm. take around um, four five months mm-hmm. so that we are able to deliver on the mm-hmm. world class. Wow, wow! So maybe we can then go very briefly to the Watuwa Janjis. Yes. Yes. What is this about? Watuwa Janjis is a yeah. kids on various life skills mm-hmm. there's um we've covered topics like um, money and saving mm-hmm. we've covered topics like um, personal hygiene yeah. we also have um, staying safe online mm-hmm. um, and, and various other topics for life skills mm-hmm. in total so far we have eight episodes that mm-hmm. you can view on our on our YouTube page wow. which is what we were judges mm-hmm. you can have a look at the at the various cartoons um, for this cartoon, we are also, um, since this was our first cartoon, mm-hmm. we, 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 we tried to balance with what we had with our budget constraints. Mm-hmm. Um, we like what we came up with, but mm-hmm. we still want to come up with um, a better cartoon, a better visual experience. Yeah. So after this first initial eight episodes, mm-hmm. we've gone again into, into full development. Mm-hmm where we are now redoing the cartoon from, mm. from scratch okay. and basically working with other studios so that we are able to produce something that's much better. Mm. If you proceed below, uh, mm-hmm. just proceed, proceed, yeah. proceed. Um, proceed. These are training? Yes, yes. These are, um, you have a training for children? Yes. What, what we do for the Watuiwa Janjis, we yeah. also have uh, an outreach program mm-hmm. where we visit um, kids' uh, events mm-hmm. like drama festivals, and then we, we, air the, we air the episodes to mm-hmm. the kids, we yeah. screen the episodes. Mm-hmm. Then we take them through a, a question and answer session mm-hmm. to, to, to get the, the, the information internalized in the kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for starting 2020, mm-hmm. we have an exciting new what we were judges. Yeah, the future looks bright. Yes, yeah. the future is bright. Yeah. We have new characters, we are mm-hmm. going entirely 3D. Mm-hmm. We are hoping to, to be better yeah, from yeah. where we started. We mm-hmm. are really excited about, about both the future hold and, mm-hmm. and, and for 2020. Yeah. Um, we also provide um, educational posters for kids mm-hmm. because when you go to most schools, you will find that most posters are more, more or less from abroad. Mm-hmm. They, are not with, they are not relatable. They are still educational, yes. but they're not relatable. Not quite relatable. Yes, okay. so, 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 so we are creating posters for, mm-hmm. for academic needs. Yeah. Well, anyone can visit our website and download them for free. Mm-hmm. These are free, not for commercial purposes, but yeah. for anyone who wants to use them for academic reasons, mm-hmm. um, they can go ahead on our website. Mm-hmm. We'll be having more and more educational posters. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. Wow, super, super. Uh, yeah. Before we go on a very short break, uh, maybe you can play a video and also maybe you can tell people how they can find you. Yes. Mm -hmm. How can people find you? Um, we are mostly active through our website. Uh -huh. you, will, um, you just need to go to www.starjabu.co.ke. Yeah. Starjabu is S-T-A-R-J-A-B-U. Yeah. That's where you mostly communicate um, any, any recent developments from, mm -hmm. from the studio, mm -hmm. anything that's coming up anytime soon. And on Twitter? Facebook. On Twitter, we are still the same, Starjabu, mm -hmm. S-T-A-R-J-A-B-U. Mm -hmm. That's where you find us on Twitter. Mm -hmm. On Facebook, we are the Digital Solutions Limited. Through those channels, we communicate um, mm -hmm. any new developments. Our fans who also enjoy our products or do not enjoy can give us feedback. Yeah. That's how we improve. It's by the feedback we get from our fans through our Facebook page, through Twitter. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, and maybe you can leave the people with this uh, clip that's playing there. Yes. That has been uh, Mr. Eric Njue, uh, the Chief Creative Officer at Asta Jabu Digital. We take a short break, Game Changers. We'll be right back.